Today, we are going to finish adding on to our knowledge map what makes a great invention. You can find this in your my book on page 188. Before we dive in to adding on to our knowledge map, let's review the text that you read this week. This week, you read the opinion text, Edison's Best Invention. Remember that a key characteristic of an opinion text is that it presents a claim and then supports the claim with evidence and facts. An opinion text also uses persuasive language to convince the reader to agree with or do something. In this week's text, Edison's Best Invention, the author made a claim at the very beginning of the story. The author's claim was that the light bulb was Edison's best invention. She then went on to share two other inventions so that she could compare those inventions with the invention of the light bulb. Now, we have learned over the past three weeks that there are several things you need in order to make a great invention. The question in the center of our knowledge map is very similar to our essential question for this module. The module's essential question is, what does it take to make a successful invention? On our knowledge map, you can see that there are four elements to a great invention. The first is, it has to be an original idea. It also needs to solve a problem. It's wonderful if it has multiple purposes. But something that really makes an invention great is that it sparks new inventions. Throughout the text, Edison's Best Invention, the author presented several different pieces of information in order to convince us as the reader that the light bulb was the best invention. The biggest argument that she made for why the light bulb was better than anything else that Edison invented was that the light bulb sparked the most new inventions. Everything from flashlights to power grids to anything electrical in your house, it was all inspired by and possible because of the light bulb. Now to add information onto our knowledge map. In the text, we learned about three inventions that sparked new inventions. The kinetograph gave rise to modern technology that records moving pictures. The phonograph gave rise to records, compact discs, which are known as CDs, and digital music like MP3s, or think about any streaming service that you might use to listen to music. The light bulb caused the development of the power system that brings electricity to homes. Let's take a look at the solves a problem subheading on our knowledge map. With this week's text, we can add this. The light bulb provided safe, long lasting light, something that people didn't have before. They used to use gas lamps or kerosene lamps, which if they fell over could cause a fire. They also burned out much more quickly. So the light bulb not only provided safe lighting, but also long lasting light. Now let's add on to the subheading sparks new inventions. Here we are going to write about the kinetoscope, which led to the kinetophone. Finally, we will add some information to the subheading multiple purposes. Let's write this. Models of the phonograph could be used in many places. Not only could they be used to play sound to go along with moving pictures, but they could be used for any type of music or any type of recording, such as important speeches that had been made. Great job adding all of this to your knowledge map. Be prepared to add a picture of this to an assignment at the end of today's lesson. I hope that you loved learning about everything that makes an invention great.